What's happening everybody? It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting and today I'm going to show you guys how I camouflage sponge paint my metal ladder stands and hangout stands. We'll see you in a minute. working on sponge painting some of my hang-on stands and some of my ladder stands that are going out on public land right now. So real simply, uh, I got a sponge. I got one that's a bit more porous. Uh, if you pay an extra buck, you can get one that really is just a little bit better than the cheapo sponges. And then I got four types of uh, flat paint, uh, chocolate, tan, and two colors of green. And along with the black base on this stand, I'm gonna go ahead and sponge paint it and give you an, an idea of how I get this stand ready for hunting. One of these things that I do is on camo painting. So I always try to put a light color over a dark color or a dark color over a light color. So I'm gonna start off here with a light green. I'm gonna do the sponge painting on that section. And then once I do the front, I'll come back and do the back, let it dry. And then I'll go on to a dark color and then I'll alternate light and dark until I'm done. And as I'm doing this, Real simply, I spray some of the green paint on there. And then I begin to just simply dip it in the paint and work my way down and across the stain. When you sit down and do the first layer, it really doesn't look like much. But you can see as I'm doing this that it really is pretty random. And as you begin to add more colors onto it, it definitely looks pretty camouflaged when you're done. Right now, I'm trying to do three of the sides. And then once it dries, I'll flip it over and I'll do the back. Okay, so the first color, light green, first coat on the top side is done. I'll let that dry, and then I'll do the same color on the bottom side. Even only after two of the four colors, you can see that the overlapping sponge paint begins to give a real irregular uh, coloration so that it looks more natural and more camouflaged in the woods. It's 
when you start to add the third color that you really begin to see change in the fact that this is going to be camouflaged. I'm on the fourth and final color on the first side right now and the goal of this final coat is to try and cover up as many of the black areas that have not been painted as possible. With the black undercoating of the metal frame on the stands it also helps to give it a great background with these colors so that it's more camouflage when you put it out in the woods.